So let's talk about THC, cannabis, marijuana, and spiritual awakening. How to marry these two things, what to do in the instance of someone who has an interest in cannabis and someone who has an interest in spiritual awakening, whether that's non-duality or Zen or Buddhism or Advaita Vedanta. How can we marry these two things? So let's take a deep breath and we'll go into a more mindful, uh, relaxed state, okay? I also want to make sure that I'm addressing in the proper way anyone who comes to this video and is currently using cannabis, is currently um, experiencing a high on cannabis, because I really want to be honoring the space that you're in. Spiritual awakening in the process of knowing thyself, the process of of uh, waking up is one in which one meets ultimately a fear of death. One meets one's own type of death. And it's the death of the controlling aspect of ego mind, the controlling aspect of, of the, the head and the thoughts. It's, it's that that dissipates and then what comes forward is self-awareness. What comes forward is this consciousness, this one single consciousness, and you notice that it's the ground for all things. <clears throat> and so how one utilizes this practice with cannabis is pretty easy because cannabis already takes you into a space where you have deeper, easier access to, um, to thoughts, to mind, to ego, to the body, to, and to emotions. And so what we can do is that we bring our awareness, we bring our, 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 our um, witnessing, watching, self-aware part into the cannabis session, and we go searching and go finding, we go looking for very intentionally wounds, blocks, walls, stress, and yes, of course, this big fear, this death thing, which will show up naturally on its own. Um, saying, oh, I want to meet, you know, existential fear and death um, and call out the dragon instantaneously usually just doesn't happen. It'll show up when it when it's time for it to show up. But this is how one does this. So we, we bring our spiritual awakening practice into the session and we, we become very, very centered, very mindful and, and, and be really into the one single noticer and then we invite everything that is challenging us with spiritual awakening everything that we, where we find a block or a limitation and you're going to feel these it's not just a mental thing but you're going to actually feel them in your body you're going to feel them emotionally in your heart you're going to remember that you have certain things that are going on in your head all the time i'm not good enough i'm not worthy i'll never get there this is never work for me those thought patterns right you're going you're gonna to notice all of those and the pain underneath of them, the whole swirling package, and it's gonna all hold the whole thing's going to be held by your s s conscious self-awareness, by the, by the one awareness that's behind it all. It's going to be held, and the, the shadow of these limitations, the pain and the suffering of these limitations, are then are going to come forward. And they're going to magnify and you're going to hold and you're going to breathe you're going to watch you're going to allow you're going to give those big wounds a big old hug okay you're going to allow them it takes courage it takes this takes fortitude to, to be able to do this because they'll come on with a force sometimes and then ultimately once or twice you're going to start coming as the dragon the dragon of fear of this existential death and you're going to have to meet it as well you're going to have to meet it and hold it and breathe and stand your ground and that's how one utilizes the spiritual awakening process and marries it into the to a cannabis session because you're already man you, you 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 zoom right into the space there's no half an hour 45 minutes waiting period of meditation you're there in that space so you can bring that self-awareness right into that space as well
And you will see what happens is it, when the, for, the more you start doing this with cannabis, your cannabis sessions are only going to be about self-awareness. They're only going to be about spiritual awakening. They're only going to be about mindfulness. Your inclination, your disposition to want to like smoke cannabis and watch TV or play video games or eat Doritos is going to dry up and go away. Because the most powerful thing, the most important thing in your life is going to show up in those cannabis sessions. And that's all you're going to be interested in. It's going to, it's going to like a freight train. Yeah, and the more you invite it, the more it's going to be one, the more it's going to want to show up. So your cannabis sessions turn very, very powerful and very, very sacred, very, very fast. So that's how you do it. That's how you uh, combine the two. You with me? Awesome. Alrighty. Well, thanks for hanging out with me in this video. I hope this has helped, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.